comes to bait fishing, probably one of the easiest things or one of the most important things you can use, especially even on small boats, is a set of outriggers. So what you're doing then is you're spreading your baits out. We like to run three baits, two on the surface and one down deep. And with the outriggers, we can keep the baits further apart. Of course, you stagger them as well, so they're different distances from the boat. And that way then, when we're on a bait school, we can do very tight turns. And so you keep your baits right on the edge of the bait school, because that's where the fish are gonna be. If you drift off away from the bait school, you're really not gonna catch anything, or you're gonna lower, you know, lower your chances, really. So with a set of outriggers, you can just keep keep the baits apart and keep working tight circles or drifting over the top of the bait school. They're a handy little thing to have. There are a number of ways you can attach your line to your outrigger, but the cheapest and simplest way is with a rubber band. Just make a loop in the line, wrap your rubber band around it, pull tight, that way when a fish grabs it, it can just slide out. One trick when you're live baiting, especially when you're doing marlin, you put your two rigger baits out and you really work them just on the surface. The other idea is you add a sinker to your third bait, which will then give you, which will sit down in the water column. Now when you're trolling a bit faster, it will come up, but when you go into your drift, it'll drop that bait down, which then helps you cover more of the, the water column. What we do is, really simple way of attaching, just have a sinker like this, depending on how deep you are is the size of sink you use. And then all we do is just attach a bit of line obviously to this one, little light rubber band, just loop it back through itself like so. And then pull tight like that. Now where we sit it is up on the wind on, that way it's not affecting the line, scuffing it or anything like that. Just pull it tight like that, drop it down. And then let it down. This way, you just get more, you're covering more water. You've got three boats out now, one long on the rigger, one short on the rigger, and one down deep. And this will help you get a lot of those deeper fish too, like your kingies, your cobes, your marlin often sit a lot deeper and sometimes you won't get them on the surface bait. Just increases your odds. The all important thing when you're live baiting is to stay on the bait. So what we're doing here is we're slow trolling up over it, we're marking it on the sander and using the GPS to work out our drifts. We drive up over the bait, dead slow, and then we're turning around and then we're drifting back down with the bait. That way, our lines are going deeper. Obviously the third bait, which is a heavy bait, with a sinker on it, is sitting right down deep and we normally get that to sit, say we're in 50 metres here, we try and get it to sit around the 40 metre mark or wherever we're marking the bait. The whole trick is you just keep working around it. It's a, it's a game of patience. You just keep doing it and keep doing it because the fish will come to the bait sooner or later. So you just keep going and going and going. Now, you'll notice we've kept the other lines in the water. When you get a fish, a lot of people pull all the gear in. In all honesty, keep it in the water. A lot of the double hookups and triple hookups you're gonna get is while you've got all the gear in the water because that's your bite time. So, as you can see, Ian's just slowly trucking forward. And we've got code coming up. Nice little code. And see how we've just kept the gear out the whole time. And there's hopefully a good chance that we'll get a double hookup out of this. Just stick him head first in like that. Just lift him up. Not a bad fish. You can see there, pull him out for you. If you have a look in here, the circle hook's done a pretty unique thing. If I can just hold him there. And it's pinned him around 
around the middle of his jaw. But as you can see, it's done the full lock, twisted back in. That's the beauty of circle hooks. And you can see the end result. Nice, pretty cobe, around 10 kilos, I suppose. And it goes back to what I was saying before. Using a deep bait, get it down below. And just sit it down below the bait because certainly a lot of your marlin and other pelagics will be right up next to the bait. But some of the guys, like your cobia, your kingfish, which you've all seen underwater on the camera, will come up and sit underneath the bait. So it's about increasing your odds. Beautiful.